Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Haley with us here this morning, and Haley's all the way down here from Tyler, Texas, which is northeast Texas, right? Mm -hmm. How many hours drive is it for y'all to come down here? About three and a half. Three and a half hours to get down here. And Haley's had neck and back problems since she was born. Uh, so she's down here today with mostly mid and upper back pain, lower back pain, neck pain, headaches five, six times a week left shoulder pain, right shoulder pain, both feet hurt, she's got both knees that hurt, and she's had uh, acid reflux and GERD diagnosed by her medical doctor since 2000 uh, with some IBS stuff along with that. Anything I left out? No. That pretty much covers it. That's, that's more than I had lines this morning. <laughs> And you're 17 now, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so today is Haley's first adjustment here. She's been adjusted most of her life, though, right? So we're going to see how she does here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief for the first time today. Let's have you close your eyes and bend your head forward and backwards for me, please, Haley. And then back to neutral. There you go. See, I can tell she's a side sleeper because her head's forward and to the right and her head's turned to the right, so she probably sleeps like this all the time pelvis is shifted right of center as well. Okay, so I did some orthopedic neurological tests on her already. She had positive foramen and compression test, maximum bilaterally. Let's go and you tell me for me. This is one of the most significant findings though down in the lumbar spine and sacrum. Uh, it's called the sacral deviation test. Now, yeah, once you lift your right leg up, Okay, now do the same thing on the left. Now you see she can barely get the left one up and that was harder for you, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, so I palpated both her SI joints are misaligned in the SI joints. She's got L5 subluxated, L4, all these are sore all the way up into her lower thoracics here. She's got a little curvature in her mid thoracic spine, that's called a scoliosis. She's got ribs out of place all up in here. She's got really tight shoulders. She's a baton in her, right? Yes. <laughs> Twirler. Majorette. Majorette. So tender right there on the right, right there on the right. And her atlas is sticking out so far on the left I can hang a coat off of it. You ready to get your first adjustment? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm just going to have you breathe normally. I'm going to adjust your left SI joint first. And then your right one. And then your sacrum right down the center, S to I, away from L5. And then we're going to come on to L5 right here, straight P to A, straight down. Now some of these will be a little sore at first, Haley, because they've been out for so long. There we go. There you go. Mm-hmm. Crackhead's gonna love you. <laughs> right. You're you're self-professed crack addict too, aren't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cavitation addict, that is. There we go. Okay, let's go on your back for me now, please. Now Haley had a positive foramen and compression test bilaterally and she also had a positive distraction test. Put your arm straight out to the sides, palms facing up for me please. Like this, there you go. I'm going to adjust your shoulders, your clavicles, and your anterior ribs here. There. Good, okay. Why don't you just relax your hands on your tummy. There you go. Let me have your leg. Now she's 17, so her bones are ossified. So I am going to decompress her today because she had a positive distraction test too. There you go. Should have felt that in knee all the way up to your lip pelvis. Yep. Good. Okay, let's hit you up. Face your mom. Okay. You flip your hair a lot? Yes. 
that causes your neck to go out, you know. Yep. There we go. But I'll be doing a really light decompression on her today. For one, she's not that big. And two, she's got a little ligament instability. Okay, can we borrow your table here for a second? <laughs> you guys are okay. Okay. All right, Haley, let's have you lay down here, butt right here, head up that way. Okay. In there, slide down underneath this just a little bit. start sleeping on your back with your legs elevated like this. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Just keep your teeth together. Breathe through your nose. That's mm -hmm. it. Good job. Now you should have felt that go all the way down. Yeah. Did you? Mm-hmm. Yep. Good. You're still kicking your eye. <laughs> okay. You know, it's almost Thanksgiving. I gotta tell this story, because this is a funny Johnson Thanksgiving story. At our house, when we cooked the turkey every year, I'd always cut the turkey apart and dissect it and show Renee and Gregory, my son, let's come over here. The spine and the nervous system and the nerves coming out. <laughs> he would. So we do a little dissection on the turkey every Thanksgiving. Let's have to flex forward and backwards. Now that should have felt a little smoother that time. Okay, here's your homework though, Haley. You're gonna lift both shoulders up and then back simultaneously. Flare these here like this. See, your head's forward and to the right, so we're gonna bring it straight back, left, and then look back at the wall behind you. Keep those shoulders pinched together for me. Okay, now relax. And this time when you go forward and backwards with your head, tell me if this feels any smoother to you than the previous one. It does. Yep, take a look in the mirror right now. See, you're more centered up now than you were. You're still a little right. Mm -hmm. And then left, translation, and then look back at the wall. That's your exercise. 15 repetitions, three times a day. That's 45 times a day. Okay. All right, so... Would you, you've had chiropractic care most of your life. Have you ever been adjusted like this? No. Nope. How does it feel? Better. Better than when you walked in? Yes. Good. So what would you have to say to our YouTube fans around the world? It feels good. <laughs> so don't be a turkey. If you have a spine, you need to adjust it. Let's have a happy Thanksgiving. We're going to be closed from Wednesday through Monday. What's the date? No, we'll be back on Monday the 27th. We'll be back on Monday the 27th. Tomorrow's what date? 22nd. 22nd. We'll be closed from the 22nd through the 27th, reopening on the 27th on Monday. Yeah. We will not be answering our phones, so you'll have to go to advancedhoustonchiropractor.com and fill out a new patient request form if you'd like to get an appointment. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. We'll see y'all soon.